good people it's your boy hendrix at feeling hendrix and today i'm joined by two beautiful ladies to discuss a few topical issues a few important things that have been going through you know society and most importantly social media as a whole and these two ladies are very influential in a lot of things that are happening across social media and i'm sure you recognize their faces if not then you're probably living under a bridge or something but um allow me to introduce them um on my left we got yoana yoana say hi to the people hello hi guys yoana aka yoana fit on Instagram and to my right we have Camilla hi <laughs> aka X Camilla X X Camilla X on social media as well okie dokie so first of all thanks a lot for joining me ladies I really appreciate your time you know what I mean just so you know this is not a paid paid ad I did not pay these ladies to feature here they just they did it from the kindness of their hearts you know what I mean so I really appreciate it. I know you guys are doing a lot right now um so like I said a lot of people know you two from social media um, for me, um, I know you guys from Instagram. Yoana, I know you from um, Instagram and the Body Power era. Camilla, I know you via, you know, um, Yoana and stuff like that. And you two are really good friends as well. So I kind of get the opportunity to like kill two birds with one stone right now. So I really appreciate keep that more again. Spicy, huh? yeah. yeah, keep more spicy. You feel me? A little bit more. Mm, mm, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not a real word, but it should be. So I want to discuss a few things today. Let's talk about the concept of influencers, right? Social media influencers to begin with. Um, a lot of people would class you guys as influencers, and I assume you'd class yourselves as influencers as well. So let's start with you, Camilla. Like, what does that term mean in this day and age? I mean, in terms of social media, what would you call an influencer like yourself being an influencer? How do you define that? So I guess just a person that just has influence over a larger group of people. Mm -hmm. For example, me or Joanna. Mm. I mean, she has nearly one million followers on Instagram. Mm. So that's just influence over a certain group of people. And obviously she can influence them, their decisions in life. Right, 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 right. To, yeah. To yeah. So that being said, so influence them to, to make decisions or to, to, to steer them a certain type of way. So you want your page, for instance, you know, what is the main um, objective? What is the main motivation? And I guess what is the identity? What are you trying to do with your page? When I started my page, it was mainly because of my weight loss journey. So I wanted to show people my work. Basically, I was just proud of my work. And then I realized that more and more people started to contact me and ask for advice on how to do it or what I've done. So that's how I started my page. And also slowly, I moved it uh, into fashion too, because of my background, I used to wear very boring clothes, mainly just, um, I don't know, black trousers and shirts. And uh, slowly, when I got uh, my confidence, my body confidence, I started to dress more colorful. I started wearing like proper dresses. And I was like, okay, this was my journey and I'm gonna show to the people what I've done. And basically the purpose of my page is to, to get people to be active and for the woman to understand how important is their beauty mm. and that you can express it through the way you dress. Mm. So, that's how I'm trying to influence people to understand, okay, you can be different, mm. but you can enjoy your life. It doesn't mean that if you're different, you just need to hide under some baggy clothes or something like that. Dope, dope. And like, um, like Emily said, um, fashion being one of the main things that, you know, you've been promoting, you've been pushing to the point that now you have been getting like um, promotion with people like Fashion Nova and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I mean, so you've, you've actually come a long way um, from the boring black and white you know, zebra yeah. outfits. <laughs> when, when I show people pictures from like five, six years ago, they were like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happy you changed. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, is that you? <laughs> like, look yeah. at me now. It's, it's quite a big difference. Yeah. And that's why I'm trying to show people that we are all work in progress and dope. can become better. Dope, dope. Now, kudos to you, kudos to you, especially for your progression. Um, so, Camilla, within the same realm of things then, um, so looking at your page, it's, it's, a similar, it's a similar vibe, you know, trying to help yeah. encourage people and stuff like that yeah so it's a so, similar vibe yeah um, I'm more um, mainly just fashion right rather than yeah so I'm more mainly just fashion and I've started in a similar way as well through Instagram right right um, and through just kind of the body positivity movement as mm. well so um, I've started about three years ago and that was just mainly because I've just started seeing more you know plus size people mm. more wearing you know, dresses that I would never wear before and stuff. So I just kind of pushed myself and was like, okay, let me just try this or let me try that. And just kind of from that point onwards, it yeah. just 
escalated. Just escalated. Yeah. That, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, so you mentioned two things. You mentioned um, body positivity and plus size. Yeah, I mean, um, you, wanna, you mentioned this whole thing about weight loss and everything as well. Um, so it's an interesting place to be at the moment because now we're in the realm of body, body positivity. We're in the realm of people, you know, promoting who you are, love yourself as you are, and don't change and stuff like that. Um, on one side. On one side. Yeah. On one side. So can you elaborate then? Don't change who you are, love yourself. But then we have the realm of health and fitness as well. You know, so is there a line between body positivity and body responsibility, if that makes sense? I think it's a whole conversation around this topic. Mm. For me, I've been accused so many times that why do I say that I represent body positivity if I encourage people to lose weight? Mm. And for me, it was like the way that I'm doing it, I encourage people to stay active. And I always say that the fact that you lose weight or you just become stronger, it's a side effect of mm. staying active and okay. of uh, <clears throat> training. So I think that at this point, at least on uh, social media, people just like extremes. Right. You either go like proper that when they say body positivity, it means like you don't care about anything else. You just mm. like, just love your body. Mm. But I'm like, on the other side, from my point of view, okay, love your body, but when you wake up and you have back pain, or mm. when you wake up and, or I don't know, you go up the stairs and after 10 stairs, you can't breathe. Breath. Yeah. I'm like, does that mean that you love your body if your mm. body tells you, okay, help me, and you don't do anything for it? So mm. I think at least the last uh, one or two years, people take it to the extreme. Because mm. for me, body positivity means, okay, you love yourself the way you are and look after yourself. Mm. And by look after yourself, I'm like, stay active. And when your body tells you, you know, when you get the red flags, just listen to it. Listen to them. Yeah. Don't wait until you get to a point where you have an illness or yeah. you have some other things going. Yeah. Because yes, I do agree. Okay, plus size, overweight, obese, like there are fine lines between yeah, these yeah, things, but yeah. we all have a moment when our body tells us stop, right. do something for myself. Right, so right. I think that's the point where you need to uh, to take action. And to me, that means loving your body. Hundred percent. Like listening to what your body tells and do something when is the right time. Hundred percent. So basically, you're saying like you know, yeah, there is a line between loving who you are and being conscious and aware of your health. You know what I'm saying? Okay, no, I really respect that. And I think that's one thing which I've been trying to, I guess, trying to clarify in this world, right? Because everyone's looking at social media. Everyone's looking at body positivity. Everyone's like, body positivity, like you said, it just means, you know, throwing myself out there. It doesn't matter who, what, what I look like. It doesn't matter what I do. I love me and people are supposed to love me for me. And like you said, I think it's the extremes. People are forgetting that, yeah, love you for you. But listen, you need to be healthy at the end of the day. You need to be healthy. You need to care about your health. You, you don't want to go overboard just, just to promote, you know, body positive. There's, there's a line. And again, being healthy. It's like exactly. So and healthy th means different. A hundred percent. So that's, yeah. a, that's a question mark now. So Camilla, I'll come to you in, in terms of that. So now I had a post on my social media recently speaking about a concept called fat phobia, right? So fat phobia is this terminology used to define people that I guess look at fat people or overweight people and find them disgusting or look yeah. at fat people and just assume and have the stereotype that everyone that's overweight is unhealthy you get what i'm saying yeah. so let's let's link back into your background because off camera we spoke about your heritage right yeah. where you're actually from so could you could you just tell people where you're from again originally where were you born so i'm polish my uh -huh. background is polish um i've lived in england for the past 11 years okay so um i've moved here when i was when i was a teenager right yeah. right right so c coming from poland so i've traveled to poland i've been to krakow and um, i know a few polish people you know i've been to a couple of places in, in eastern europe in general and i know there's a perception of of people that are overweight there's a perception of people that are you know very slim uh, in terms of popular culture so yeah. what is the, the the definition of beauty in in poland then originally yeah. okay so for me yeah it's very different right like eastern european countries is just yeah, it's like when you go there, it's almost, I mean, it's getting better now. Right, I right. I guess so, because obviously because of all this body positivity sure. and media and social media, and obviously, you know, they do see other countries and people living in other countries. Right. Um, but it's still very much, um, the perception of beauty is, is slim. Mm. Is, you know, you just have to be, you know, very beautiful, slim. Mm. I mean, um, I've had previously, even from my family, mm. um, 
just sayings for example oh you have a beautiful face mm. if you only lost the weight right 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 <laughs> Do right, you know what I mean? right that's, yeah. that, and that just keeps on going yeah that's it's a typical just, typical yeah, thing isn't typical, it yeah right you get that all the time mm. um yeah. so so that being said i mean for both of you then like you know what was encouragement what was the point that you were like you know f all this you know blonde hair blue eyes tall skinny you know size 0.5 clothes and all these stilettos f this pop star look i'm gonna live my truth and kind of be me kind of i'm gonna create my own definition of beauty where was that point for you so 